Hey everyone, today we're going to look at question 1H of the 2017 MAT exam. We are given that A and B are both real numbers, and that A is non-zero. Then we're told that the polynomial x squared minus 2ax plus a to the fourth is divided by x plus b with remainder 1. Also, the polynomial bx squared plus x plus 1 has ax minus 1 as a factor. From this, we need to work out what the value of b is. From the question, we are told that this polynomial, I've called f of x, when divided by x plus b, we get a random polynomial called q of x, but we're not interested in this, and we get remainder 1. So now let's multiply both sides by x plus b. On the left hand side, we're going to get f of x, and on the right hand side, we get q of x times x plus b plus 1. So now, if we plug in x equals minus b, so we get f of minus b on the left hand side, on the right hand side, this is going to go to 0, because minus b plus b, that's 0, times q of x, that's still 0. So this will equal 1. And now we can actually evaluate what f of minus b is, using our polynomial up here. So f of minus b, this equals minus b squared, minus 2a times minus b, plus a to the power of 4. So we can simplify this as b squared plus 2ab, plus a to the fourth, and we know this equals 1 from up here. So this is one of the two equations we'll be using later on to solve for the values of a and b. Also, from the question, we're given that ax minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial right here, which I've called g of x. This means when we divide g of x by ax minus 1, we're going to get exactly some polynomial, I've called it p of x, but no remainder. So let's do the same thing as last time. We're going to multiply both sides by x minus 1. On the left-hand side, we'll just get g of x. On the right-hand side, we get p of x times ax minus 1. So now we're going to plug in x equals 1 over a. So we'll have g of 1 over a. And if you look on the right-hand side, this bracket right here is just going to go to 0. So 0 times p of x, this is just going to be 0 on the right-hand side. And now we want to evaluate what g of 1 over a is using this polynomial right here. So g of 1 over a, this is going to equal b times 1 over a squared plus 1 over a plus 1. So we can simplify this as b over a squared plus 1 over a plus 1, and we know this equals 0. Keep in mind that in the question it said that a was non-zero. So 1 over a and 1 over a squared are both well defined. So now I'm going to multiply this equation by a squared. And we're going to be left with b plus a plus a squared. And this is going to be equal to 0. I'm just going to rearrange for b. So we'll get b equals minus a minus a squared. And this is the second equation we're going to use alongside this one up here to solve for a and b. And we can solve these simultaneously. So now we have two equations of two variables, and all we need to do is solve them to find the values of a and b. I'm going to plug in this expression for b into the equation here on the left-hand side. So we're going to get minus a minus a squared, all squared plus 2a times minus a minus a squared plus a to the power of 4, and this equals 1. So we can expand these brackets to get a squared plus 2a cubed plus a to the power of 4, minus 2a squared, minus 2a cubed, plus a to the 4, and this equals 1. This expression right here simplifies to 2a to the power of 4, minus a squared, and this equals 1. I'm going to bring the 1 onto this side, so we'll get 2a to the 4, minus a squared, minus 1, and this equals 0. And this equation right here factorizes, and it factorizes as 2a squared plus 1, times a squared minus 1, and this equals 0. The first bracket has no solutions because there's no values of a, that this bracket right here is going to equal 0. So we can just divide through by it, and we'll be left with a squared minus 1 equals 0, which is the same as a squared equals 1. So we see that solutions for a are a equals plus or minus 1. So the last step is to use these values of a to calculate what values of b we're going to get. So I'll go up here, and I'll get b equals minus 2, if we plug in a equals 1, or we'll get b equals 0, if we plug in a equals minus 1. 
and these are our answers. Going back to the question, we see that the correct answer is B. So there you go, how to answer question 1H. Lots of parts of this question, so the key is to take it steady and do your best to avoid silly mistakes.